I was part of the second team of UK IETR that was deployed to the Philippines. The team consisted of doctors, nurses, and a paramedic. Um, the UK Department for International Development de co um, drew on the register and we were part of a joint civilian military response to Typhoon Haiyan. We were tasked with flying by helicopter from HMS Illustrious into different islands directed by the World Health Organization. Each day we would um, assess the needs of the people affected on the islands, run clinics and also report it back to the World Health Organization and the health clusters. It was a real privilege to be part of a UK team responding to such a huge humanitarian disaster. Um, it was also a very humbling experience to see how little that the affected people were left with and despite of everything that they have been through, um, they were very welcoming and appreciative of the aid that they received. The high point for me was being part of a civilian military response team to a humanitarian disaster, but also ensuring that UK aid received the, those people who needed it most. Being part of UK IETR meant that I had completed um, the pre-deployment course, but also being a senior nurse of 14 years experience in emergency nursing. Um, I have worked and de been I have been deployed to different environments such as Iraq, Malawi, uh, Brazil, Nepal and various other South American countries. This experience has made me appreciate um, and also feel really fortunate to be working in the NHS. Yes, the NHS does have problems, however, universal healthcare free at a point of delivery is aspirational for much of the world but it's a reality here um, so i've gained uh, lots of technical skills non-technical skills but also i've learned a lot of uh, learned to improvise in my nursing skills that i can transfer back into my uh, into my role as a senior nurse in the emergency department I see HCRI as the research and training wing to UK IETR, providing the evidence base for our ongoing humanitarian work.